Jen. And I'm Earl. And today we are going to be talking about the difference between hemp and marijuana and what all of that actually means. Very true. So <laughs> we're going to start off with the obvious question that I have is what is hemp? Um, well, the short answer uh, will be hemp is marijuana, uh, but not all marijuana is hemp. Okay. Um, and if that doesn't make too much sense, <laughs> uh, I guess we kind of got to back up a little bit yeah. as to well, what's marijuana. Um, or cannabis. Um, marijuana cannabis is a seed bearing plant um, that produces flowers. Um, there's different kinds of species of plants mm -hmm. um, and there's different kind of species of marijuana. Okay. Um, underneath marijuana there's two subspecies what we call indica and sativa. All right. And this is all going to tie into answering the question what is hemp uh, but we got to kind of go back a little bit. Um, and I think the best thing I can draw a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Let's on the board. Let's draw a little. A little bit. So, we have marijuana. All right. And uh, don't judge my hand right. <laughs> yeah. No judgment. Okay, okay. And then for marijuana, we got two branches of species here that we call indica, and then we also have another species which we call sativa. All right. Like that? There we like go. That? Yeah, I like that a lot. Like Mario brother, Mary. <laughs> All right. So we have marijuana here, or um, I like the term cannabis. cannabis I like the term sounds, cannabis. Sounds cannabis. clean. Uh, we just put, I don't know, bam. C, there right there. Look, yeah. Marijuana, cannabis, MC. Okay. Um, so then that branches off into indicas and sa sativas. Um, indicas, are and these these branches of names are more based upon the region that they were grown all right um, and different characteristics um, indicas were more uh, short and stout okay. um, kind of like if you say um, a bulldog um, or a pit bull it's real stocky um, and then sativas were more um, long and lanky okay um, you can say like a like a great dane yeah, um, or Dalmatian. Dalmatian, there you go. There you go. I saw that movie, 101 Dalmatian, <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, so that was really the difference. It wasn't um, really to tell you exactly how they would make you feel, per se, but more to identify the characteristics of the plant. Okay. Um, the Indicas, um, the origin of Indicas is really traced back to India. All right. Um, you call it India hemp or Indian hemp. Um, and that hemp back in the... Centuries, we went through the timeline Right. Um, last episode, but thousands of years ago, that was used for medicinal purposes, okay. um, ceremonial purposes, um, and other purposes to just kind of alter the consciousness um, of the mind. So that's more of the indicas. And sativas, um, there's a couple different theories about sativas where they originated. Um, however, most sativas were found in more tropical climates. Okay. Um, and the most abundantly was found in Asia, which in our timeline we did a lot about um, in uh, Chinese culture. Right. Um, there's a lot of studies and uh, a lot of artifacts um, dating back to 4,000, 5,000 BC um, shows traces of sativa plants. Um, then you get indicas. Now, so where where does hemp? Yes. No, fly. So hemp itself is under the species. Uh, sativa. Okay. And hemp itself um, was grown for more either industrial purposes, um, usually for fiber um, mm -hmm. or fuel, um, clothing, paper, um, paper etc. This is very versatile uh, plant. Um, not really was bred for consumption. Okay. Um, it was more just industrial purposes. Um, However, there are some sativas that you can consume, but okay. it wasn't really the purpose of hemp. It wasn't really to grow it, to um, craft it, to manicure it. It was just grown wild. It's okay. kind of like dandelions. Right. Um, and that's where it was. Now, hemp itself does have a definition now um, based upon the 2014 Farm Bill. Right. They define hemp by a definition of 0.3% or less. THC. Okay. Ah, that, that, <laughs> <laughs> of what, huh? 0.3% uh, or less THC. Okay. Um, so that's not, one, that's less than 1%. That is 
Three point tenths. three. Right. Three tenths of a percent. That's little. Yeah, it is. It is. Is that making sense so far? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to smoke that. No, nah, it's uh, <laughs> I don't, they say typically it takes at least about five percent THC. Okay. Um, to start feeling any kind of effects um, from cannabis. So really, um, from a botanist point of view, anything really less than five percent THC will be more for a industrial purpose. All right. Um, not for a personal therapeutic or medicinal purpose. Um, so yeah, so so the hemp bill or the farm bill in 2014 defined hemp as 0.3% or less. Um, and that was really limited to only um, educational purposes okay. that you can grow um, hemp. And so, but to qualify for that, it, there's a lot of hoops and jumps to kind right. of get there. So Not just anyone, like you have to be a university or right. some sort of organization to do that research exactly. and, and use that. Exactly. And uh, of course, um, it was still considered a schedule one drug, mm -hmm. um, a controlled substance. So the DEA still oversaw right. um, that and that still um, stowed up a lot of process on that. But what is hemp? Hemp is marijuana, but not all marijuana is hemp. Uh, or hemp is cannabis, but not all cannabis is hemp. Okay. Based upon the definition of 0.3% or less right. um, for that. But it's marijuana. Long okay. story short, it's, it's marijuana. Cannabis. Yes, yes. Cool. All right, so what? how does the sativa then differ from the indica? So if you look at the the indica, it's, it's more for characteristics. Okay. Now, a lot of the Indian hemp, um, which we now would call indica, um, that was more for personal consumption. Okay. Um, so they did have higher percentages of cannabinoids um, and terpenes and flavonoids. What those are, those are three groups. I'm just gonna keep using this board yeah. here. Uh, we have cannab, I'm short for cannabinoids. Then you have terpenes, and then you have flav, flavonoids. So okay. we have cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. And those three are really the three groups of chemical compounds that's found within the plant. So indica had a higher percentage for all these compounds. Okay. Now some sativa plants also um, did have, because there's, there's um, you can use the, the analogy of how many different, say, species of different indicas are there, and how many different sativas are there, um, almost like we would explain dogs. Okay. Um, with, we know there's, you know, dog is, one breed of, 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 of an animal, mm -hmm. um, but within that breed, um, there's, or that kind, um, there's many different breeds. Right. Um, you have poodles. Yep. Um, help me out here. We have, uh, what's the little, the, uh, the shih tzus? The shih tzus, you have bulldogs, bulldogs pugs, exactly. Yorkies. Now there's so there's many different breeds, right? But you can take a poodle and breed a poodle, a poodle mm -hmm. with say, I heard um, someone had, bred a poodle in a lab. Oh. And they called it a labradoodle. <laughs> Very cute, huh? But so now that's a hybrid, right? Or right. what what some call mutts. Um, yes. but they're they are hybrids. So just as if you took a poodle and a lab and they bred together and now you have a labradoodle, um, there was breeding between indicas and sativas. Okay. And then those became hybrids. And that's why we have different strains. Exactly. So now we have hybrids where, I mean, there was different indicas. I mean, you can have, in a garden, you can have five different um, different species of indica. Okay. Um, you can have five different species of sativa. And how breeding happens, um, now we gotta talk about the birds and the bees a little right. bit. Right. Um, is you take a male plant and a female plant. Um, the Marijuana or cannabis plant um, is different from some plants because not all plants really have male and female, but mm -hmm. the um, cannabis plant has a male and a female, and you can actually see the difference. Okay. Um, a male um, does have like little ball sacks. Like actually, <laughs> <laughs> it actually, I know that's funny. It, it does have little ball sacks, um, and then the uh, females just have little pistols. Okay. Um, so usually, if you're trying to grow, cannabis for medicinal purposes, 
um, or for personal consumption, um, for a therapeutic reason, you want to kind of separate the males and the females. Okay. Because the males are who pollinate the females. Right. And it produces seeds. I was going to say that's when you get the seedy exactly. weed. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, but those seeds are now, I mean, you could take, say, Gorilla Glue is a popular strand. Mm -hmm. Say that's um, your male. Um, and say you had Kim Dog. Okay. Um, that's your female. Well, if you had a male Gorilla Glue and a female Kim Dog in the same room, um, and they pollinate it, um, and they mix, now you have a Gorilla Kim Dog mixed together. And that's that seed. Yes. Um, but to think of, I mean, there's a really unlimited combination of different cannabis species right. um, that we could breed. And that's why we have so many different types. Oh, there's thousands there's and thousands, thousands of different. And each one uh, can give you different effects. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they give you different effects is because they have different chemical profiles right. of cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. Okay. So if I took my Gorilla Glue and my Chem Dog and I, they came together, um, they may be light skinned like me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a hybrid, you know? Right. Uh, uh, so, um, so it's the same concept. So to just give that visual, to make it make sense, there's so many different kinds right. of cannabis out there. And it really started with two different sects. Um, and then from that, there was just so many different crossings. Right, because it was yeah. wild. Yeah. So it just yeah. crossbreed. So would it be fair to say that hemp does not have these three things, correct? Um, I would say yes, they do. They do, just um, at lower amounts. Yes. Okay. Um, and really, they're, they're low in THC. That's, okay. And, and that's really only because THC has been popularized uh, to be a level of potency. Right. Um, knowing that if it's... Uh, well, if this is 20%, like right now, the average of TAC is about 10 to 15%. Okay. Um, so people think, um, usually sometimes you go to a, um, a dispensary or a store, they label it by the TAC. Mm -hmm. It says it's 15% TAC. And another one says it's 10% TAC. In your mind, you're like 15 versus 10. Well, the 15, it may knock me out. Right. Um, the 10 may be a little bit more easy on me. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not always true. Okay. Because um, you can have... 5% TAC, but have very high percentages of terpenes. Okay. Now, of terpenes, there's hundreds of different terpenes, um, and there's close to hundreds of different flavonoids, um, and the terpenes is what gives it the aroma. Oh. Okay, so terpene, think about lavender. Right. And lavender smells um, like lavender. Yeah. Um, because there's a, there's a terpene profile in lavender. Lavender. Oh, okay. Lemons have a citrus or orange has a smell to it. It's right. the terpene profile within plants um, that have okay. fruit so or So terpene isn't just strictly to marijuana or cannabis? No. Okay. No. Um, That's fun to know. So cannabis is a botanical plant. Right. And there's thousands of different botanical plants that have been used for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. Okay. So cannabis That's is cool. not even the only plant you can smoke. So right. one episode, we can get into just the botany. Um, yeah, I think we're going to. Yeah, of, of plants and the different ones that, uh, that you can get. However, um, in the cannabis plant, we're talking about cannabis, mm -hmm. it has a high concentration and a high percentage of these. The, uh, so like the, the terpenes, say one terpene called uh, piney. Okay. Um, it's also finding pine trees, pine needles, and get yeah. that pine smell. Um, and that can have more of a sedative effect. So that okay. can also give, um, things that have high um, piney also can give you a couch lock. So it's not necessarily always the THC that okay. gave you that effect. It's a combination of the cannabinoids of, um, there's THCA, there's THC, there's right, CBD, I've heard of that. Yeah. Um, CBN. Um, so we only popularize really only two cannabinoids, which is CBD and THC, THC but there's hundreds of them. Right, because I always thought that the higher the THC, the more messed up you were going to be, the more high you exactly. felt. Exactly, and that's that is not that um, to me is a miseducation. Yeah. Um, because there are people who are going to be directed to get a um, say they they do want they're they're in, they're in pain and they're directed to get a very high THC um, strand um, or uh, species mm -hmm. of of the plant, and it doesn't give them relief. Right. Because it they went off that right number of, yeah, but because they, they maybe it didn't have enough uh, limey or, mm -hmm. or piney. Um, and, okay. then the, and then the flavor noise is why it tastes the way it tastes. 
Okay, I kind of figured that much. Yeah. <laughs> Flavor noise. <laughs> I was hoping at least. I could have been wrong. Yeah, yeah. So all this, go, that was a very multi-dimensional yeah. answer as to what is hemp. But we got to look at first back up to what is cannabis. Yeah. And then break that down from there. So I've heard this before. And I was wondering, I've heard there's a difference between the CBD you get from hemp versus the CBD you get from marijuana cannabis and that there's a difference in the effect of it. No. There's not? No. And that's why I, I saw a lot of articles that were like, you know, only get it from the marijuana plant, don't get it from the hemp plant, but I never really understood why no. people would think like that. TAC within hemp is TAC within indica sativa hybrid. Okay. Um, CBD within a straight indica. I mean, there there's really is no um, straight indicas today. Okay. Um, everything's pretty much been mixed. There really is no straight sativa pretty much everything is a hybrid um so whether it came from um say that we calling hemp say that's our bulldogs right right um, um well maybe i should think of a more of a lanky dog uh dalmatian well, so, dalmatian so hemp is our dalmatians um and then our bulldogs are here um what was the question here hold on here let me the, <laughs> I don't uh, want to go up the effect of the cbd okay so the the cbd within our Dalmatian and the CBD within our bulldog, it's the same, like like blood. It's the same. There right. may be different blood types per se, but it's the same. Or like the anatomy is the same. Yes, yes. What yes. you get from it. Like there, there is no test. For example, say you have a hemp field, right? Where hopefully you have genetics that are coming out with 0.3% mm -hmm. THC or less. Otherwise, if you harvest it, the, really the only way to know what the percentage of CBD, THC, is through lab testing. Okay. Okay. So, but you don't know that until you harvest it. Right. So you can be growing a hemp field and they could have higher oh amounts, gosh. but you're supposed to destroy that and throw right. it away um, according to the, which we, we will eventually get to. Um, we just passed the farm bill. Yes. Um, in 2018. Mm -hmm. So the in 2014, one. there was a farm bill. And then 2018, there's the updated farm bill, mm -hmm. now removed hemp from a controlled substance. Right. Hemp now is like corn. Yeah, anyone can grow it. My, my uncle who owns a farm, he can grow hemp now outside in the open. It's, it, it moved from, now I would advise him not yet to do that yet. <laughs> right, right. But um, you will be able to, so each state would eventually develop their own regulations as to how they want to regulate mm -hmm. the growing of hemp. But the main thing is done right now through the farm bill that is moved from a DEA topic, right. a Drug Enforcement Administration Agency, yep. agency administration. to a federal drug agency topic. Okay. So instead of it being a controlled substance by the, that the DEA regulates, now the FDA is going to regulate the growing okay. of hemp. But the FDA has to create rules federally as to how that's going to go down. And then each state will create its rules as to how they also want to regulated on okay. top of that okay um, but it's no longer a controlled substance meaning right. that you're not going to go to jail for it now question would be how can you tell the difference in your um who who who, who you say was going to grow him uh, i'm not that he's going to no no that he could but my uncle okay uncle so yeah. uncle so if your uncle was to grow hemp, how would the fda know the difference between hemp which is cannabis versus right. cannabis. cannabis that right. has the thc you exactly. would have to wait till it was harvested right so is there a way you can manipulate the seeds like through you know genetically modifying them so it only has a certain amount so you do know ahead of time because i know you can do seeds that are auto fem so what you're talking about now is actually the competitive advantage okay of um growing and it's really going to come down to is your genetics Right. Okay. And, um, like, weed can grow anywhere. Right. Right? It can grow like it's weeds. Weed. <laughs> right? It's meant to grow anywhere in the climate. So that in itself, I mean, your uncle can grow it, I can grow it, we're all growing mm -hmm. it. But yet my genetics could be just to me. Okay. Now, the breeding of that is just like how today, um, well, the first known record of breeding intentionally was back in, like, 1928. Um, there was a German doctor. He breeded. Um, Indian hemp, mm -hmm. um, and he breeded it for certain effects. Okay. 
we didn't understand and isolate THC until the, I believe it's 60s. Uh, 60s or 85? It was on our time. Uh, later yeah. on. Later on. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we couldn't isolate THC. So they didn't know they were breeding and actually um, creating more higher THC or higher terpene profiles or higher. Okay. They just knew that once they mixed plant A and plant B and plant C together, it created plant D. And plant D they gave to some humans to try and they felt this way. Okay. And then they had to take D back to A and then this back to that. So that's how breeding happens. Like today, um, like you can have a male plant in your garden and that male plant can pollinate your female and mm -hmm. you just created a brand new plant. A brand, right. Oh, not plant, but a brand new strand. Right. A uh, brand new species um, of cannabis. So, um, so that's, so to find this percentage point, you're going to have, it's going to have to come through breeding. Right. So people are okay. going to be breeding. I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. Continually to get to that sweet spot mm -hmm. because it's a, it's an arbitrary number that, you know, the government pull out of the hat um, and said, well, 0.3%. Well, I mean, you still can't, even if it was 5%, you still, you still wouldn't, can. you can smoke a pound of that and you just okay. have a headache. So the main difference between marijuana cannabis that you smoke and you consume and hemp would be the amount of THC in it. By the government's by definition. the government's standards. yes the government's right definition but, but of it. in the past you no know, Indian hemp was just Indian it was never right. any um, it wasn't really called anything different um, until what you brought up um, in the timeline mm -hmm. um, in, in the early 1900s uh, where they associated marijuana with Hispanics right and that was more to start off the prohibition campaign per yes. se they wanted to associate marijuana which is different from hemp mm -hmm. because of, not because of really the percentages of TAC, but because of who consumed yes. it. Um, right. So that's what, so that's when the term marijuana came into play. But before marijuana, it was just considered like Indian hemp mm -hmm. or just hemp. Okay. So if you wanted to, not saying that this is the best use of marijuana cannabis, if you wanted to, you could use it to create all the same things that you create with hemp. Like you can make paper, Correct. clothes, all the things. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now you, I can take uh, the seeds and stalks of some plants that test high, like twenty percent THC, CBD, all that jazz. Uh, but I still can use the stalks for the same purposes. Right. Um, but the sativas um, have more stalks. Okay. So that's and that that and gets that makes in, sense. And they're longer. Um, they they don't take as much maintenance. Okay. For example, with the indica that's short and stocky, you got to be careful for mold. Because it's it's, it's it's all contained. It's all contained. It's all congested. And unless you have good airflow, um, it's, it's more more insects can stay within okay. her as well. So the sativa plant, which was more of a tropical plant, was more ideal for growing uh, for industrial purposes because of its characteristics, not because of the chemical profile, but because of the way oh. that it grew. So a sativa plant within six weeks can get five foot tall. Wow. A indica plant within six weeks could be three, four foot tall. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet then. So what is your token for today? Ah, uh, so we're going to end our episodes now yes. with doing uh, tokens. Yes. Um, you just put me on a spot. I know just I did. Now. You did. You did. I come. I got you. I got you. I, got you. I, I know you. you give me all this great information, no, so now did. I gotta. You I gotta did. throw you, you off. Um, my token would be, um, don't smoke too much. Point three percent. Yeah, really though. Uh, <laughs> don't so, smoke that. Um, but if you are interested in getting into the hemp industry, um, I definitely will look up to 2018 Farm Bill. Yeah. Um, there are some good articles about the Farm Bill. Uh, but it is, it, it, is, it is pretty major news. It's a pretty historic it's moment. Cool. Um, in our timeline, we talked about 1937 um, was when kind of the kickoff of marijuana prohibition mm -hmm. um, with the Marijuana Tax Act. So you're talking about from 1937 to 2018 is almost 80, a little bit more than 80 years that we have suppressed the education right. and the research of cannabis and particularly hemp so now it's, it's a brand new i mean you're talking about cosmetics mm -hmm. um you're talking about industry 
that can help with fuel. Right. Um, it helps clean the soil, um, the plant. So just there's so many different. I mean, clothing, mm -hmm. um, dog treats. I yeah. mean, yeah. I mean, so there's so many different avenues that just as of like last week. Um, right, because it just got signed in. It just got signed in. Um, that is, it's a brand new opportunity. So my token would be to actually kind of look up that bill, uh, some good articles about it. Mm -hmm. um, we can link some articles. Yeah, we'll link some in the, short, in the comments. Short, short notes, um, comments. But definitely take a moment to understand. Like, that's a very major moment in marijuana history. 2018 was a big year. Yeah, it was. So that, the passing of the farm bill... Um, the president, um, I won't say his name, I, President Individual One, um, he uh, signed it, I believe, like last Thursday. Like the so, one thing we all are like, yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but that, so that, I mean, that's live, that's active, that's now. Yeah. Um, so definitely stay on top of that if you can. And if you're looking to get into the industry, that is a whole unique um, angle. A lot of research. Yeah, to actually get in. Yeah, it's, so now, yeah, research is now is going to be, it's open. Mm -hmm. Now anyone can do it. Yeah, I mean, despite there's already 23 some thousand articles on PubMed right now, as far as research, yes. comparing that to yes. maybe 4,000 um, uh, articles on alcohol. Right. And there's 23,000 articles on It's just such a more marijuana. interesting topic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, like you said earlier, uh, like now you can like recall dates. Like, yeah. Like history. Yeah. Like I've never been able to do that ever before in my life, but yeah. you asked me about yeah. marijuana date, like. Got you. <laughs> like now, you ask me about like the whole different branches of government. Like I can like there's a judicial branch, there's right. a legislative branch, there's an executive branch. I never paid attention to any of that in high school. But like now, no. it's just like this makes it so much more something about this plant. Something about this plant. So that's my token. That's my token. There's probably a couple different tokens in there. Maybe but, a couple. Okay. How about you? What's your token for? My today? token for today is that there is no difference between the CBD you get from hemp and marijuana. I thought that was really cool. Right. And I was really curious about that because, you know, there's a lot of CBD products out there. Um, and because I've been seeing them pop up, like Wild Bills has them. Yeah. All these different places. And I was like, is it safe? Is it not safe? Is it, what do I do with it? So yeah. that's my token is that um, I guess it's more of a learning experience True. that they're, they are the same. You mind if I talk on your token? Please do. Okay. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Here, I'll pass it. <laughs> uh, I mean, What's that difference between CBDs, between plants? It's just like you really can't tell the difference between a, a hemp plant by the government definition uh, versus you know a regular sativa plant unless you right. cut it down and you cure it and you, and you test it. Um, but a lot of sativa plants do have higher percentages of CBD. Um, okay. But it's not like there's not CBD in other you know indica plants. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you're right. There's no difference. It's just really the main difference. The quantities. Exactly. Okay. Of there's different profiles and if you're looking to get cbd um products um and there's a lot of miseducation about that is that you want to get a product that is full spectrum okay um and and um which you you see terms full spectrum hemp extract and what that means is that uh, full spectrum is it's it's at the plant at its fullest state okay um meaning that the profile before you actually extract it the oils and the resin off of this plant, that profile, the way it looked, is exact or very close to the way it was when it's at its natural state. Oh. So there's a lot of isolated um, CBD products. Right. Where if you took CBD by itself, it, it may not even be effective at all. Oh, okay. Just as if you just took THC and just took THC, it's not going to be, you're going to be very disappointed if you're looking to go yeah. on some blissful experience right. or for pain relief because THC by itself does really nothing. Okay. Um, but THC in conjunction with the family, with the orchestra here, that's how you get your effects. So the same thing goes with T CBD. CBD can't even bind to our receptors without oh. the carrier of THC. Okay, so you do need you need the full spectrum. Yes. So that's what you should look for. And I just took the whole thing. Yeah, I made it a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. So cool. thank you. Um, next week we are going to finish our conversation on the legalization of marijuana. Um, we're going to focus only on Michigan and in the two thousands. 
Cool. And we're going to finish that off because we got cut off last week. Yes, yes, we had so much history. So much history. So to go through. I mean, uh, that episode may have to get revisited a couple of times. Oh, yeah. We may keep updating it because um, there's still so many, so many good, so many good uh, facts. And, and the last stuff we talk about is something to do with history. Mm-hmm. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about the Michigan history and then what does it mean today? Yeah, what, what the next steps are. What, what does all of that mean because it's legal? Right, what you can and can't do. So before right. your ankle, before your ankle, before your <laughs> Before your ankle go grow some, before your uncle put some hemp seeds in the back or uh, right. start to put some marijuana plants somewhere, we should talk about what you can and can't do. Yes. Um, from a plain perspective. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next week.